Northern most town before Jaffna, and this is also very significant where the conflict is concerned, uh, because this was um, during the peace talks, during the peace uh, process. Uh, this was the headquarters um, of uh, the Liberation Tigers of Tamil Nadu. So, I'm talking about. I mean, personally, the, my my second son went missing, and he was missing in action from this town. So he was here posted, just first posting was posted here in Kilinochi and he went missing. So it's um, from the uh, forward defense line and uh, his uh, headquarters were also in, in Kilinochi town, situated in Kilinochi town. In fact, uh, when we, he went missing, the first thing is wanted to know like what happened to him. That's how I gathered uh, the other uh, mothers, uh, wives, uh, you know, fathers, sisters, brothers of uh, the servicemen who were serving at that time and who went missing. 609 Sri Lankan military officers and soldiers went missing from the Kilinochi battle. And then, you know, very soon we came to know that unless otherwise this war is stopped, there will be many mothers, wives like us. And that's why I reached to uh, the other side of the divide means uh, the families of the LTTE asking them like because we are in the same pain let's come together to stop this war. came together, we cried together, the mom family, you know, the mothers were exchanging photographs because they knew that, you know, each other's sons may be the perpetrator, but again, that's the only medium that we could find some uh, solutions. So that's why they came together. It was very easy to come together with them because we all had a similar goal. We all wanted to know what has happened and we all wanted this war to stop. And up to now, that's why we say we trained the women to run for political dialogue is not for anything else, because we want the women to be in peace negotiations. I mean, so our first and foremost uh, goal is peace in the world. Peace in our countries, peace in the world. So that's towards that we are working. 